Hello everybody, what's up? Long time no see. A lot of you are probably wondering why the heck is this girl on camera without makeup? I know. Homegirl is here, right? Um, first of all, I do apologize that I have been MIA for maybe what two, three weeks. I have been so busy with school, so busy working, and so overwhelmed with so many other things. Um, that I just haven't had time, and that's not an excuse, because, yeah, I know I should make time, but honestly, I'm just, like, drowning in everything I have to do, so adding this on top of that, um, it's not easy, but you know, we're gonna do it, we're gonna make it work. Um, second of all, I am so sick, so if you can barely hear me, or if I sound so awful, I do apologize, I am very sick. I am like borderline dying but you know I got Theraflu I got Jesus and I got a lot of hauls so we're gonna make it work um, I am here to film my February favorites um, I didn't explain why I'm not wearing makeup I'm not wearing makeup and I am NOT on social media for seven days it is day three and I don't really want to get into too much detail about why just because I want to complete my task first. But let me just say, not being on social media and not wearing makeup gives me a whole lot of sleeping time. I have been sleeping my life away. Like, today I probably slept like 11 hours last night and like 6 hours during the day. Well, on top of being sick. Um, and I took the flu nighttime when I woke up, so <laughs> I just kept sleeping. Um... But yeah, so being, not being, like, I just realized all my time goes to social media. Like, I lay in bed and I'm just, like, all day on my phone. And now I grab my phone and I'm, like, I just put it back down because there's nothing to do on my phone. Um, so I will maybe get into it at a later time, but I am not wearing makeup for a special reason. Um, I have something coming up very, very important to me, and that is why I'm not wearing makeup. So it is day three and I feel so weird because before I wouldn't go out in public without makeup. Like at least a homegirl got to put a little bit of concealer on because I'd be like, girl, looking a little hit. But I haven't gone, like I've gone to work like this and like granted people are like, girl, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, I, I was born like this. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be talking about the products that I have been loving in the month of February. Some of them are things I've always used. Some I'm just trying out. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with hair care. As you guys know, I cut my hair recently and it is getting pretty long. Um, I cut it December 28th and it is officially March 1st. And I feel like it's grown a good amount. Um... So these are the products I've been using throughout this month. It is the Mane and Tail shampoo. And a lot of people know about Mane and Tail, also known as horse shampoo. Um, I guess they call it horse shampoo because it has a horse on it. But I was doing research and I tried the regular one, um, which I should have brought in this video. They're in my bathroom. But they're like the large regular original. It says like Mane and Tail, the original on it and they're just the regular ones i started using that and then i switched to mane and tail deep moisturizing because the regular mane and tail leaves your hair kind of dry so they have the deep moisturizing one which leaves your hair a little more soft a little silkier but these are very popular for helping your hair growth so these are what i've been using they leave my hair soft i wash my hair today and it's pretty soft um, I have loved these shampoos. They're so small. I paid $12 for both of these on Amazon. I have never seen these in store, um, but they have olive oil in them, olive oil complex. Um, and it says moisturizing conditions leave, leaves hair healthy, shiny, silky, formulated with natural herbs, olive oil complex, nourishes, strengthens, and fortifies from root to tip. Micro and rich proteins help prevent breakage. Oh my gosh, when you're sick, I'm like so out of breath from talking. And it's only been like 10 minutes. <sighs> Gotta get my life together. Anyways, I've been loving these shampoo and conditioners. I definitely will be repurchasing when I finish. I can tell my hair has been growing and it makes me super excited. 
Another hair product I've been using and I have been loving is this L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Repair Remedy Balm. This thing is bomb, literally. It smells so good. So it's kind of like a, a lotion consistency, as you can see. Um, if I take some, it's pretty thick um, a consistency. And if you rub, you see it's kind of, it's really smooth. This thing, I use it maybe once every three to four hair washes. Like, I'll wash my hair and use it. And then the next time I wash it, I won't. And then the time after that, I will. Like, every other time. And this leaves your hair so soft, so smooth, and you can tell it kind of replenishes any breakage that you have. So this is that L'Oreal Ever Pure Repair Remedy Balm. This is cool. I got it at Target. It's pretty good. Moving on to skincare. I have been obsessed. I've used everything. This last three months have been the worst months of my skincare ever. Um, I have been breaking out like crazy. My face looks so much better, praise God, because I was like having a heart attack because my skin was like not cute. I've tried everything for like the past three months. Everything, every brand, super expensive, super cheap. I've gone to a dermatologist, I've gotten a facial, like I just haven't figured out what caused me to break out so bad. Um, I believe it was hormonal um, and, hor and hormonal and uh, I can't talk. It was a hormone. <laughs> a hormone. Oh, I'm done. I'm so done. A hormonal imbalance. A hormonal imbalance. <laughs> and stress related. That's why I was breaking out. And it was so bad. So, so bad. Like, I was. I couldn't wear makeup because you can just like see all my breakouts through my face and now um, I have no acne now um, you just see the scars I had really bad scarring I'm super white um, light skin look at that so I scar very easily I but anyways, I have been using this on my face and I feel like this has helped me so, 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 so much as far as helping my skin get its life together. Um, I stopped using makeup wipes, I stopped using oils, I stopped using treatments, I stopped using everything. This is one of the only things I've been using and something else I'll mention right now. This is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser and this thing has been my holy girl facial cleanser this entire month. It is so good. It literally takes away everything like homegirl will have like waterproof mascara waterproof eyeliner like so much makeup that like it takes six wipes to take off this thing takes off everything and it also has salicylic acid so it's helped me a lot with my acne and us with this I've been using this um, this little trio this is the Lancer skincare and this is pretty expensive I have the mini size this is 0.5 ounces but this has lasted me so long like I use I use like this little tiny bit of this and it leaves my skin so smooth so glowing people are like wow like you're not wearing makeup but your skin is glowing like my skin glows so much using these products I love them this is the Lancer skin First you use the Lancer skincare. First you use the polish method. Then you use the cleanser. And then this is the moisturizer. And I use this in the morning and at night. And I only use the Aveeno to wipe off my makeup. Or if I just want to clean my skin a little bit more. This set was $40. Which is so expensive because they are tiny. Like so tiny. Look at my pinky. They're literally tiny but I have made it worth its money at last and it is so good <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the full size product of this is like I believe a hundred dollars or like between 80 to 90 dollars ridiculous but I would repurchase that mini set just because I can make it last and also I've been using this fresh vitamin nectar vibrancy boosting face mask and this has been so good too. I believe this has vitamin. There's something. I think it has honey in it too. And it leaves your skin. If you can see, it's kind of like a jelly. And it has like little beads of like exfoliation in it. Um, I use this as a mask just to give my skin an extra, an extra oomph um, every so often. And that's been working really well. And also, a couple months ago, I got this... Um, 
Clarisonic Aria Facial Cleanser, and this has made such a difference in my skincare routine. I really, really do appreciate this. It took me maybe a year and a half to figure out if I was going to drop $100 on a cleanser. And thankfully, I found this one on eBay, brand new, untouched for, I believe it was like $89. Um, but it came with an extra brush head too, because you're supposed to change these out every three months. So I came with this one and an extra one. So this has made such a huge difference. I only use it, I used to use it every day, um, but I changed from using it only maybe once to twice a week. And it's really, really good. I really noticed the change in my skincare. Moving on to perfume. These two perfumes I have had in my collection for over like nine months now. But I have been using them every single day. Like, I'll use one, then I'll use the other. And I'm so picky about telling people what perfume I use. It's so ridiculous, I know. But it's just like, scent to me is so important. Like, I can smell something and it reminds me of someone so much. Because scent, I just like, I smell something and I can just remember exactly the time, the place, the memory, like everything. And it's funny because the other day, like, I smelled something and it reminded me so much of, like, so many things. And I was like, wow. So I don't like to tell people my scents because I feel like they're so treasured to me. I don't know. It's weird. But anyways, these two smells have been my go-tos. I've had this one for, like, a, like nine months and I'm, like, almost at the bottom. This is the Giorgio Armani C. This little ribbon went up. This. And then this is the... Um, Paco Rabong Olympia. These things smell so good and they're so expensive. Um, but I have just, I like, love them so much. Those have been my Holy Grail perfumes this month. I've used them on it, like, non-stop this entire month. Next, this is the only primer I've been using lately. This is the Hourglass um, Mineral Primer Veil. And it is so soft. It leaves your skin so moisturized. If you can see here, it kind of has like that sunscreen consistency to it. Um, I don't feel like it leaves any white reflex when I do my makeup. I really enjoy it. It leaves my skin very moisturized and hydrating and I can appreciate that for sure. And these have been the only foundations that I've been using maybe for the last month and a half or so. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I have these two colors, um, Buff Bisque and Soft Beige. Um, I kind of go off and on between these colors or sometimes I'll mix them just to match me perfectly. Um, but I really, really like these foundations because they're kind of light to medium coverage and I've, I really like that. I don't really like full coverage foundations. Um, just because I, I don't enjoy looking cakey at all. But I've been enjoying those. And they're only $4.99. Girl, super cheap. Um, concealer. I bought the Tarte... What is that one called? The Shape Tape Concealer. And I really thought I was going to love it. And I did for a little. But then I started using my NARS Radiant Concealer... Again, the creamy concealer, and I have been obsessed with this again, and I wish I can just put some on right now, but I can't. Talking about makeup and not being able to wear makeup is, like, torture right now. I'm just like, mm, I need it. Um, but this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Creme Brulee, and I love this concealer. It's so creamy, it's so soft, and it's so, like, it's the coverage is perfect. I love it. As far as... Um, mascara. This has been pretty much the only mascara I've been using. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And I got this um, in the mail and I have been using it every day. It is so nice. It leaves my lashes so long. I wish I could show you guys, but I can't. But I've really been enjoying that. As far as eyebrows, this, the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. Oh, it's so perfect. I, If you guys know, you should know already. The NYX Microbar Pencil is my holy girl pencil. I use that thing. I have probably purchased the NYX Microbar Pencil over 27 times. Over 27 times. Like, I use that thing so much. But this pencil is so precise. It's so smooth. Like, I love that it doesn't go on too harsh. Like, you can literally work, you see? Like, you can just kind of build your lash, your eyebrows as you go. And I wish I can use it, but I can't. Ah! But I really like this. It makes your eyebrows like perfection. Like you can like work your way either to really bold brows or just very natural brows. 
Next, while we're on the topic of brows, um, a girl, a friend of mine recommended this to me. This is the Maybelline Bry Persault Fiber Volumizer in the shade Medium Brown. And this thing is so good. If you can see, it kind of has like little fibers, like hairs in it. It kind of makes you like, I don't know if you can tell when I swatch, it kind of like, oh, hold on. You can kind of mimic hair. You see how it kind of goes on like little like lashes. This mimics hair so much. And it like even if you don't use an eyebrow pencil and only use this, it fills in your brows and makes your brows look so natural. And I've been loving that. Next, I will talk about this highlighter. I bought this highlighter probably like a year ago. And I never really used it because I feel like it didn't really like give much. I feel like last year it was like the top fell so i don't have a top here um last year was so like oh my gosh you have to have the like most pop and glow um but this one at the time i was like eh like the coverage isn't too nice like you see it's kind of like i mean it's pretty nice now i love it i'm obsessed with this it's, it's in my favorites um but last year i just feel like it wasn't like cool to have like such a subtle um highlight and this is what this is like i feel like this is such a soft like perfect let me try to swatch can you guys see that like over here it's such a soft like gentle pink reflect highlighter and i feel like it looks so natural on the skin i will put concealer and just a little bit of that and some blush and it looks so pretty i love it um this is the wet and wild to reflect shimmer palette Next, I have been loving this Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle blush. It is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. This blush is so natural. It has like little tiny specks of gold in it, but not on the face. I am not good on glitter um, blushes at all. I don't like anything with glitter that much. Um, but this blush, I'm going to just swatch it on my skin. It leaves such a nice, pretty, corally, pink kind of sheen to your face and I feel like this is going to be so perfect in the springtime. I've been using it every single day this month and I really 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 love it. Another product I've been loving is my MAC Emphasize which is this right here. It's just this. This is just the Z palette I have. This is MAC Emphasize um, powder and I have been using this to set my concealer and I love it. I bought this probably two and a half years ago and I still have it. I stopped using it for such a long time and the other day I found it in my drawer and I was like, oh my god, my MAC Emphasize. So I've been using it a lot lately and it's really bright on top of my under eyes. I can use some right now, right? And last two products I want to mention is this is the Real Technique sponge. Um, and this sponge at first I didn't like it because I have like five beauty blenders. So I'm like, I don't want that Real Technique sponge. But I've been loving this one so much. It's so soft when it's damp. And it applies my foundation so beautifully. So I've been really, really enjoying this. And my last product has been this lip gloss right here. This is the Buxom White Russian. And I have love, been loving this. It's a very soft pink sheen that it leaves to your lips. And I feel like it's so pretty, so natural. I won't even need to wear makeup and I'll just put this on my lips. And it just kind of gives like that little extra like glow to your face. It kind of like very soft, very gentle, pretty. I've been really enjoying that. I have like five mini white Russians like everywhere. One in my vanity, one in my purse, one in my car, one in my apron from work. Um, so I've been really enjoying that. So yeah guys, that is it for my February favorites. I'm so sorry that this video was like kind of not on the best side, but I just feel so awful. I'm sweating right now, so you better believe homegirl's gonna put on her PJs and go to sleep because I do not feel good right now. Um, but I just wanted to get a video up for you guys and just talk to you guys about what I've been using this month and kind of let you guys know that I'm still here and as soon as I feel better and as soon as I can put makeup on, I'll do some looks for you guys really soon. Um, I hope you guys are having a blessed week and that you guys are feeling so good, so inspired, and so happy and blessed and grateful to be where you are, whatever part in your life you're in. I hope that you are enjoying it and being grateful and understanding that you are where you are for a reason. So I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.